Welcome back to my channel and a welcome back to episode 2 of The Sims 4 Horse Ranch. It's currently 6am in the morning and everyone is up in the house this morning. Everyone wakes up very early on this ranch. Bailey and Sadie are currently just playing in this pile of leaves that they found. <laughs> Mostly Bailey and Sadie is just watching. So these guys are all ready to go this morning as today they are going to be heading out and exploring Chestnut Ridge a bit more. As you can see Sadie has found some more clothes. Today she's still wearing the same jeans and boots. But she did manage to find herself another shirt that is a bit more her style so she's feeling a lot more comfortable today and ready to head out. Today is Saturday and today Ruth wants to take Sadie and Bailey to New Appaloosa so then they can go and hopefully buy some clothes in the shops and Ruth wants to buy a couple of other things whilst they're there too. Sadie has come into the stable though so I think that Clint is going to come over to Sadie and just say to her can you help me clean out Sandy's bed please and refill the feeder. I'm just looking after Sandy and cleaning her up would that be okay? So Sadie has refilled Sandy's food and then she's also going to clean out the bed as well. She still finds these jobs quite mucky and gross but she's slowly getting used to it. Sadie has also had a couple more goes riding Sandy as well and she has now reached a level 2 horse riding skill which is quite good. I think she is starting to grow a bit more fonder of horses. She's definitely more up for looking after Sandy and caring for her. I think we should get Sadie to come over and talk to Sandy who is looking a bit spooked right now. As for Ruth, she is over here just doing the laundry. She's finished now though so I'm gonna get her to hang it on the clothesline. I think Bailey is gonna come over here and see what her grandma is up to. Bailey also has currently a loose tooth so she'll probably lose that today. I think she's gonna come over to her grandma and just complain about problems and just complain about her loose tooth. I think she's gonna say to her grandma, grandma my tooth hurts so much it's so wobbly. Should I just pull it out do you think? It really hurts. I think Ruth is gonna say I know what will distract you from the pain we can head for a walk down to town and we can go do some shopping how does that sound and I think Bailey would get very excited about that so I'm gonna get everyone to get going and we'll meet up with them once again when they do arrive in New Appaloosa these guys have now arrived and I think Ruth is going to say to Sadie, so where would you like to go first? Is there anywhere you know around here? And I think Ruth is going to say, I have a few clothing shops that I could recommend. We could spend quite a few hours here as we have enough time today. So I think Sadie is going to say thank you and they are going to get walking around. I think Clint though is still up on his horse is going to say, I'm just going to take a ride around town. I don't think he'd really be up for for the shopping and things like that so he's just gonna do a bit of a ride around and meet up with the girls later on so I'm gonna get him to go for a relaxed ride and we will see him later on he's gonna go and enjoy some time with Sandy so bye Clint see you later <laughs> so I'm gonna get these guys to start walking around I can imagine they're probably just looking through the shop windows there is one clothing store here I think that Ruth probably took Sadie and Bailey to I think she's gonna say have a look at the clothes here there's a few in the window so I think Sadie is gonna come over here and have a bit of a look this is actually a clothing store that your sims can interact with which is super cool so I think we are gonna get them to head inside here and we can do some outfit planning with Sadie and also give Bailey a new outfit too I can imagine as Bailey is walking through the store she is probably quite surprised by the clothes they're probably quite different from what she usually used to wear or the clothes stores back in Willow Creek but I think she's going to try on a couple of things and just kind of see what she likes. I think first off she is actually going to buy another shirt because I think she actually really enjoys wearing these. I think she is either going to get it in the green or this kind of brown colour. I think we should go with the green color. I think she's also gonna have a look through the jeans as well. I think she's gonna see these but be like I'm definitely not gonna be wearing them. <laughs> I don't think she'd wear jeans like that at all. I think I'm gonna get her to purchase a pair of these jeans though but I think with this outfit she's actually gonna keep the pair of jeans on that her grandparents gave her. As for her boots I think I'm gonna get her to just buy a pair of these boots and then I'm also gonna give her a second everyday 
day outfit too and I think she's gonna go for something a bit more nicer maybe something that she would wear if she was going out somewhere something that she would wear when she's not working on the ranch or with the horses and I think I'm gonna give her this because I think this is really cute as for the colors I think I will either go for this one or we will stick with this denim jacket and the white t-shirt I think I'm gonna stick with that for now and I'm gonna pair it with a pair of these jeans I decided to switch it up and go for this jacket I actually think that Sadie would really like this jacket I think living here in Chestnut Ridge she's gonna try and be a bit more open about her fashion choices as she knows there is definitely a kind of a style here in Chestnut Ridge so I think she's gonna try and go along with it as well as she can and then I think she's gonna pair it with these jeans these are really cool I think she would like these quite a lot too and then I think after a lot of persuading by her grandma she is actually gonna purchase some of these boots to wear I think it's gonna take her quite a while to pick out a color but I think she's gonna go for this brown pair here I also think I'm gonna change her shirt as well because she is wearing a green jacket on this outfit so I think I'm gonna change the green shirt I've gone for a black shirt and I've changed the color of her jeans and then as for a, another outfit I think I'm actually gonna give her this here I think this suits her quite a lot I think she would be very fond of wearing an outfit like this whilst working on the ranch I think I'm gonna stick with the dark denim I think that that suits her really well I don't think she's gonna wear the boots for this outfit I think I'm gonna stick with these boots but she's looking really good I'm gonna put her hair into a plait for some of the outfits I think I'm gonna keep her hair like this for this one and put her hair in a plait for this outfit just like I did for this one here as well she still has these outfits for now but maybe at some point she may get rid of them but I think she's gonna keep them for now but these are Sadie's new look we have this one here this outfit which is definitely one for taking a walk in the town or heading to the bar something like that not one that she would wear whilst looking after sandy or doing jobs on the ranch but it's a very cute outfit and then this is her fifth one which i really like on her too i think this one that suits her really well so that is sadie's new look here is Sadie in her brand new look or one of her brand new looks. She's starting to fit in a bit more now and she's actually looking very happy about it which is good. I'm gonna get these guys to do a bit more shopping and I think that Ruth is actually gonna say I would like to quickly head over to the store so they're gonna come over here together and as they walk there I think that Ruth is gonna say to the girls me and your grandpa have actually been talking for a while about actually getting some shoes sheep and maybe some goats on the farm as well so I would like to go in here and have a look around and see if they have any for purchase also I want to quickly pick up some groceries whilst we're here too I think Bailey is going to jump in that conversation and be like oh my gosh some sheep we're going to get sheep I think she is going to be very very excited about this I think she is going to say to her grandma please can I help look after them and please can I name one of them as well and I think Ruth is going to say of course you can let's go in and have a look okay so they're gonna go in and have a look and we're gonna buy mini goats and mini sheep I couldn't do this let's play without exploring the new mini sheep and mini goats because they are so cute I can imagine even before Sadie and Bailey got here on the ranch Ruth and Clint have been discussing about getting some mini sheep and mini goats for a while and now that the girls are here they think that it's a good time to purchase them as they can also help look after them too I think for now we are gonna stick to getting maybe three three mini goats and sheep maybe two sheep and a goat I think we are going to purchase the Dalmatian one and also I like the look of the mocha mini sheep as well that's really cute and then lastly I think we should get a goat as well and I think for the goat we are going to get the black mini goat this one is really cute too and I think that's what we're going to go with for now that does cost 750 we could get more at some point but for now we are going to stick to three so we will purchase them and they are now in Ruth's inventory so once we get back home we can place them in the ranch and they can get to know their new home. I think Ruth is going to say to the girls let's get walking back now to the bar. So they're going to get walking back, Clint is over there. Ruth is however going to stop and turn back because she has actually seen one of her friends. Well she has seen one of the locals, someone that she knows really well. She is going to say Malia we haven't seen you in so long, how are you doing? How's life? 
life going? How are you doing with your own branch? It's so good to bump into you again. We haven't seen you in so long. I think Ruth is going to say, oh, um, th these are my granddaughters. Let me introduce you to them. This here is Sadie and this here is Bailey. So Sadie is going to do a friendly introduction and I think that Bailey would definitely do a howdy introduction. And I think Malia is going to say, ah, oh, you are Ruth and Clint's granddaughters. It's nice to meet you. And I think that Sadie is going to say, yeah, we are. I think she is going to maybe just get to know Malia a bit. And I think Malia is going to be very fond of talking to Sadie. I think she's going to say to her, so how, how are you getting on here? It must be very different from where you used to live, right? We have quite a way of living here in Chestnut Ridge. And I think Sadie is going to say, it's, it's pretty good. Um, it's quite an adjustment, but I'm slowly getting to understand life here. And I think Malia is going to say, well, if you ever need any help with anything or any advice or just someone to come to, I'm always here for you. I mean, I think we're pretty similar age, right? Looks like another Sim has come over to say hello as well. This is Sienna. Ruth probably also knows Sienna quite well too. Looks like Clint is also here too. So I think he is going to come over and say hello to Malia and compliment her outfit. Probably say I'm liking your new hat, Malia. We should definitely get Sadie a hat at some point. I think she's going to be up for that. I am just going to pause for a second though because I find this quite interesting. Sadie is actually currently feeling sad again which actually plays into the story quite well because I feel like when things like this would happen, when she meets new sims, when she begins to do something new, I think that feeling of sadness and the reminder of her mum especially and her parents would flood back into her mind. I feel like it kind of makes her feel a bit homesick as I think she definitely struggles being here. It's very very different from her life back in Willow Creek. She is currently feeling sad but she is also feeling quite happy so I think she is feeling a bit of both right now. These guys better get going soon but I think before they do go I think that Ruth is gonna actually say to Malia tomorrow we're actually hosting the neighborhood bonfire. If you want to come on over you're more than welcome to. We're just gonna have a fire and a barbecue and I think Malia is gonna say that would be great. I would love to come and visit you again. It's been such a long time. I've been so wrapped up that I haven't had chance to come over and say hi in a while. A bit of background knowledge for you about Malia. She is actually around the same age as Sadie. I could imagine she's probably just about a year older than Sadie is. Malia knows Ruth and Clint quite well. She used to spend quite a bit of time with them on their ranch when she was younger, getting to know about horses and the ranch life etc. And Malia's parents used to be quite good friends with Ruth and Clint too so that is the reason why she spent quite a lot of time there as well and I think that Malia would be quite happy to see Sadie actually as there's no one really around town that is her own age but it does look like Malia is off now though so she must have said goodbye but hopefully we'll be seeing her tomorrow evening at the neighborhood bonfire However, I think it is time that we get heading back home now. I think that Sadie is going to want to head home now. She's not feeling too great anymore. I think she's just going to take some time to de-stress and chill out. Sandy is also probably feeling quite tired after riding around all day. So I'm going to get these guys to head on home and we'll catch up with them when they do arrive back. Everyone has now arrived home. Bailey and Ruth are in here grabbing some dinner and Clint is coming on over as well. However, Sadie is upstairs in her room. She isn't feeling quite sad right now. I'm actually going to get her to go ahead and cry out as it is also something that she wants to do as well. So I'm going to get her to do that, you know. I think she's just feeling quite overwhelmed again and I think that's understandable. And of course, when she's feeling sad, she will always write in her journal. So she she's gonna grab that and sit down and write in her journal for a bit. She is just gonna express her thoughts and she's just gonna sit and write and writing it down for her is just a way of her to deal with her emotions a bit more and deal with her thoughts. As I don't think Sadie is one to talk and I definitely don't think she'd feel comfortable talking to her grandparents right now about how she feels. Ruth is just saying to Bailey, it's time to head to sleep but I think before Bailey does she's actually gonna pull pull out her loose tooth. I think Ruth is going to say to her, are you sure you want to do that honey? It's going to hurt. But I think that Bailey is going to say, I'm fine grandma, look, as she pulls it out and probably is in a lot of pain. But her tooth has been annoying her 
her all day and Bailey would definitely pull her tooth out. But now the tooth fairy will come so I feel like she's feeling quite excited about that. I think Ruth is going to say to Bailey, well you better head to sleep then. If you want the tooth fairy to come then you're going to have to get lots of rest so let's head to sleep. And then Ruth is going to jump into bed as well alongside Clint. Bailey is still currently awake but it is midnight so I'm gonna get her to get into her pyjamas and probably also head to sleep too because she is feeling very tired right now. But first of course she needs to hide her journal back in her safe place and then I'm gonna get her to jump into bed. But everyone in the house is now sound asleep so I will catch up with everyone again in the morning. It is now the next day and Sadie is out for a walk this morning. She's taken a very long walk around the neighbourhood just to have a look at the houses around here and the nature as well because it's so pretty around here in Chestnut Ridge. She's just come out to get some fresh air and just relax and chill out before the neighbourhood bonfire this evening. As Sadie walks, I think she is going to come over and have a look at the community board over here. She has seen a couple of these around Chestnut Ridge and they have loads of information on it so I think she's just gonna you know have a look through, read through some of it. I think as she has a look she is gonna actually have a look at the rescue horse list at the moment. There's probably a leaflet on there that just shows what horses need rescuing at the moment and what horses are up for adoption. Sadie is just gonna have a bit of a look through them and just see the horse Horses, see which ones need rescuing, see which ones need adopting and I think she's going to kind of look at them and just potentially maybe consider in the back of her head. I think she's going to question maybe I should get a horse. Bear in mind Sadie had never seen a horse in her life before she got here but she has actually grown very close with Sandy. She actually feels as if she can connect with the horses really well. She finds them in a way quite relaxing to be around. She finds them a lot of good company and I think that's why potentially Sadie may be becoming a bit more of an animal lover as she lives here because she finds animals great to spend time with and they really help her a lot. I think she can connect with them very well so I think she's going to keep it in the back of her mind but I think she may be feeling a bit reluctant to get her own horse as I think she knows that she doesn't know too much about them even though she has her grandpa who knows a lot about horses I think that she is gonna feel kind of reluctant to get her own. I feel like as well she may feel like it's quite soon. You know she's only been here for a little while. It hasn't been too long but I think she's gonna keep it in the back of her mind and maybe discuss it with her grandpa at some point. Clint is not outside yet, he is currently inside eating breakfast so I think that Sadie is going to come over to the stables and call over Sandy and just spend some time with her. She's going to say good morning to Sandy, I think she is going to try and look after Sandy a bit more too. She hasn't done this too much yet but she's going to give it a go without her grandpa being there helping her and she's doing really well. So I'm going to let Sadie get on with that, I'm also going to get Sadie to clean Sandy's bed too but we are going to jump over to Ruth and Bailey for now as these two are gonna go ahead and meet the mini sheep and the mini goat that we did purchase yesterday. Bailey of course is gonna want to do this with Ruth so we're gonna go ahead and place them in the world and I cannot wait to see them and meet them. We're gonna have to think of some names for them as well. Here they are. They are so so cute. I love the mini sheep so much. It looks like Bailey is very fond of the mini sheep. <laughs> they are super cute. I think this is definitely going to be one of Bailey's favourite parts about the branch. I love the way that the mini sheep walk. They bounce to walk which is so cute. I'm going to let these guys settle in the sheep and the goat. As for Clint and Sadie, they are over here. Sadie is currently in the stable but I'm going to get her to come out and talk to her grandpa for a bit. I think that she is going to ask her grandpa what are they going to get up to today 
Clint is actually going to say to Sadie, why don't we move up a bit more with horse training today? You can now mount Sandy, but why don't we go ahead and practice some barrels and practice some jumping? And I think Sadie is actually looking quite enthusiastic about that. So we will call over Sandy and we will get Sadie to go ahead and mount Sandy. Sadie does seem to be getting a lot more confident. I think this is the first time that Sadie is riding quite quickly too. Her face definitely sums up how she's feeling right now. <laughs> She's doing okay though, she hasn't fallen off just yet. She's definitely getting the hang of this, she's doing really well. Here we go, we have made it, we just need to wait for Clint to come on over. Sadie is going to get off of Sandy for now, just talk to her and make sure that she is okay. Here comes Clint, he is nearly here, he jogged all the way over here. <laughs> I think he is going to come running on over, puffed out, being like, just so out of breath because he ran all the way over here. I think he is going to say to Sadie, my gosh, I cannot run over here every single time. You're going to have to get your own horse, Sadie, so then we can ride over here together. And I think she's going to be like, I think she's going to kind of laugh at that and have a bit of an awkward laugh towards that as she's also kind of been thinking the same thing in her head. She's not going to say anything just yet. So I think first Clint is going to share horse riding tips with Sadie and just give her some tips on doing the jumps and doing the barrels as well. So he's going to just give her some advice and she's feeling a bit scared. She's feeling sad because she's feeling quite scared but it's fading out quite quick. So I think that the reassurance from her grandpa is definitely helping a lot so we are going to give this a go and are we are going to start off slow so we're going to practice the basic jumps for now if sadie does choose to get her own horse it's going to be a lot harder to do this training a new horse than it will be with sandy but i think that's why it's good for sadie to practice with sandy as she is a very experienced horse she's feeling sad from horse training blues training horses is hard work it doesn't always go as planned it's because this has fallen we will get Clint to fix the horse jump and he's just going to say no worries it's all good. These guys have been practicing for quite a while I think before we do head back. Clint is going to say to Sadie why don't you try the barrels before we head back ready for the barbecue. Sadie's feeling a lot more confident now so she's going to give it a go racing the barrels and let's see how they're going to do. For Sadie not really having very high horse training she is doing really well. Sadie and Sandy are racing the barrels so they're kind of knocking them a bit but they're doing a great job so I think she's gonna say that was so much fun grandpa thank you so much for all the tips and teaching me and I think with happiness she is gonna run over to her grandpa and just give him a hug which is really sweet and I think Clint is gonna really appreciate that but I think it's time that we get heading home now we are gonna wake up Sandy so we can take her home Sadie is gonna take a jog home as Clint did jog here so I think Sadie is gonna say you ride at Sandy home our jog home it's not fair for you to walk up both times and then it is time for people to start arriving for the neighborhood bonfire this is something that they do in chestnut bridge every fall and every summertime they just have get togethers where they have a fire music and a barbecue and it's just a really nice communal thing we definitely need to get sadie to come in here and say hello to the sheep as well but get her to come and pet them i think that would be really cute so she's gonna come and say hello as well. I think she'd find them super cute. It's now a lot later and the neighbourhood bonfire has begun. People have arrived from around the neighbourhood and they have lit the fire and the barbecue has begun as well. We're going to turn on the music. We bought out the radio so we put on some ranch music. Sadie is going to come and make some conversation with Malia. I think Sadie's going to say, oh hey. And I think Malia's going to say, hey, how are you doing? I think Sadie is going to say, so are these kind of like a a big thing here and Malia is going to say yes we love doing these here in Chestnut Ridge having neighborhood bonfires are kind of our thing it's kind of a community thing it's really chill a lot of fun though I'm going to get Clint to also roast some hot dogs as well and I think that we will get Bailey to roast some marshmallows. Although just as I say that the chilli is ready so I actually think instead I'm going to get Ruth to call everyone to mill. Malia has come over to take a seat next to Sadie so I think that we are going to maybe get Sadie to just kind of make small talk with Malia and get to know her a bit more and as well maybe we can just ask her about her career and 
just ask her, so like, what do you get up to around here? And I think Malia is going to say, oh, I, I don't have a job, but I mainly make my money from entering horse competitions. That's kind of my thing around here. I think Sadie's going to say, oh, that's like really cool. I, I've been kind of learning a bit more about horses whilst I've been here. Do you think if I had like enough training, I'd be able to enter horse competition? To be fair, I've kind of actually been thinking about getting my own horse. Uh, I just haven't really spoken to my grandpa about it yet. I think Malia is going to say, oh, really? That would actually be great. Having your own horse is such a great thing especially if you love them so much how are you finding it here on the ranch by the way i know that you haven't been here too long i think sadie is gonna say actually it's been quite good i really didn't expect to enjoy it as much as i have but surprisingly i've actually been starting to enjoy it and horses are great you should definitely talk to your grandpa about it getting a horse is great and i mean if you're gonna be here for a while then definitely give it a go and i can definitely see your grandpa wanting another horse on the ranch <laughs> And I'm very surprised that Sadie actually said that to Malia. I mean, they haven't really been speaking for too long and she already opened up about something quite big to her. So that's pretty a pretty big thing for her. As they're talking, Malia is actually just going to say, I love this song, the song that is currently on the radio. And I think Malia is going to say, I used to cowpoke dance to this song all the time. And I think that Sadie is going to be like, cowpoke dance? And I think Malia is just going to whip out some of her moves. And I think Sadie is just going to start laughing. Going to also join in and dance as well. Probably not cowpoke dance as she doesn't know how to do that, but maybe one day. But I think she's just going to join in as well. And she she seems to be having a really good time. It is now a lot later on in the evening. Sadie is sitting at her desk, of course, writing her summary of the day in her journal. And she's also just having a look through some of her old journal entries too. She's just taking a bit of a trip down memory lane. And I think she's mainly doing that because she is kind of like comparing her old journal entries from when she first arrived on the ranch to present day and the journal entry she has been writing now. Looks like Archie has come in here to say hello. So so I think Sadie is going to say hi. But I think she's just going to be looking through them. And I think actually she's going to see a very big positive change in her mood and her days here living in Chestnut Ridge. I feel like now Sadie is slowly starting to find her feet. During this episode, her mood has changed quite a lot. And her outlook, I think, has changed quite a lot too. She is now feeling a lot happier. And even though she still definitely had her sad moments in this episode, I think especially last night with the neighborhood bonfire i think it really made her realize that maybe chestnut bridge could be for her and that she actually really likes the community and i think getting to know malia has really helped her out a lot as well they seem to actually get on really really well but Sadie is going to jump into bed now as it is a very early hours of the morning and she's going to get some rest. But she's definitely gone to sleep with a bit of a smile on her face. But that is where I'm going to be ending today's episode. I really hope that you did enjoy it. I had a lot of fun going shopping with Sadie and Bailey and also the neighbourhood bonfire was a lot of fun too. I think in next episode we are going to explore Sadie potentially getting a own horse. I feel like it's quite a quick jump and she hasn't been here for too long. One, I think Sadie may potentially be ready to take the next step and kind of get into ranch life a bit more and potentially adopt her own horse. But also this is a mini let's play so I don't have too much time to develop the story too much and take it a bit more slow. So that is another reason why in next episode we may get Sadie to adopt slash rescue a horse which I'm very excited about. Out. but other than that thank you so much for watching today's episode i really hope that you did enjoy i hope that you have a great rest of your day and i will see you again very soon bye